Uh, kinda, yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. <clears throat> so I know it's an old question, but you're gonna come across it at some point in your photography if you haven't already. Do you need to niche down to be a successful photographer? And I think that question really boils down to two main things. It's where do you want your career to go and what's the size of your market? So when you think about it, you know, if, you, you could, if you're a hobbyist, if you're just having fun with photography, I think you should just be taking in every shoot that you can and, and avoiding money type requests, you know, just taking every opportunity to go shoot, meet friends in different areas and different realms of photography so that you can understand what it's like to shoot different things. The more you shoot things you don't like, the more you'll understand what it is that you do like. Uh, but if, if, you know, if all you care about is going to shoot birds, go shoot birds. If you, all you want to do is photograph your friends skateboarding, then, then just do that. You know, if, you, if, if you're just having fun with photography, niching has no, like, no, has no bearing on, on whether or not you're having fun in your photography, because that's all that really matters. It's, are you going out and shooting? You are? Awesome. Keep doing that. Next step, if you're making a little bit of money here and there, if you're, if you're at, a type of, at a point in your photography where you have a regular job and on Saturday sometimes you meet up with some folks and you make a couple hundred bucks and that pays your nights out for the month or whatever it is, then you can start to think about where you want your, your career to go. If you're happy to keep shooting whatever comes your ways just so you can make a couple extra bucks, yeah, I understand. You're gonna, it's, it's hard to say no to jobs when someone's willing to give you $200 for two hours of your time. Sure, yeah, take the job, I get it. But at the same time, if you are willing to, or if you're able to be a little bit more selective with your work because you have regular income, you have your actual job that pays for your bills and for everything else, well, maybe you should be a little bit more selective and be a little bit more mindful about niching down with your photography. I say that because you're able to pick and choose the type of clients that you want. And if you want to be at a certain elite level in your photography, you're probably not gonna be shooting 10% of everything. You're gonna be putting all in focus on one type of work. If you don't need to take in every gig that you get, then sure, take in only the ones that you want and make them be the most high-end ones that you can. But for the most of us, I think for most of us, for most people who are getting into photography, we're just trying to survive. We're just trying to make it to the end of the month. So it gets to a point where you kind of just end up taking in a little bit of everything. First 10 years of your career, I think it's very natural to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. You're not gonna be a master of anything within 10 years anyway. So just shoot, 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 and be a sponge and shoot up, soak up everything that you can. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'm a student of being told to niche down. You know, I'm, I'm, I, was t I was told that that's the only way that I can be successful. And the vast majority of the success that I've found has been in not niching down. But you get to a certain point in your photography where you do want to get to that next level and you do want to kind of level up your work from being a generalist photographer to being a specialist photographer. But niching down does have its benefits as well. No matter the market size, when you niche down, the more you're the only person that does a certain thing, the more you can charge whatever it is that you want for it, within reason, of course, but if you're the only option for that specific thing and you're absolutely in demand, then yeah, you can probably charge a little bit more than if you're one of 10 and you're competing for you know a couple extra bucks. So by niching down, you can be a little bit more selective, but if you are like me, a full-time working photographer, you might not be able to have the luxury of being so selective with your work. So if you're shooting only on Saturdays and Sundays and you wanna be at that highest level of your photography, then maybe don't take on the jobs that you don't wanna take. Don't take on the, the shitty jobs that are just gonna weigh you down and, and take time away from doing what it is that you wanna do. For me, photography is the fun part. I'm happy with a camera in my hand, so it's hard for me to say no to jobs. The thing is, the more I've said no to jobs, the more I've been able to uh, price accordingly for the jobs that I'm really, really good at and really specific for. So in the market, the more, the more you're, you're niche down in a market, the less convincing you have to do with your clientele. But the more generalist you are, the probably the more jobs you're able to take in because you're just you know, at a certain level for a lot of different, a lot of different businesses. Depending, depending, of course, on the level that you're at, I think a lot of it boils down to the size of your market. You know, if you're in a small to medium sized market like I am, you're probably gonna be a little bit more generalist than if you were in a 
very populated market like New York or, or LA or London or something like that. And I, I say that because if you're in New York, you're competing against a lot more people than if you're in Albany, you know? So in, in, in order to be the big fish in a little pond, you can't just shoot uh, uh, beauty products in a certain type of lighting at a, at a certain type of way doing a certain type of thing. If you're not, if you're in New York and you're not doing that, you might not get work. But if you're in a smaller market, there, there's just not enough business to sustain how niche down you are. So the smaller your market, the more generalist you're going to be. But even, even within generalism, you can be a little bit more specific. So for me personally, a lot of the stuff that I do is food and Uber Eats and these different types of restaurant shoots. But I still shoot a lot of product stuff and I shoot a lot of work with different retailers and fashion brands and, and, and companies that you know, need products and, and, and still life advertising. So rather than being, oh, I only shoot drinks, uh, I only shoot splashes in drinks uh, of, of fruity cocktails. You know, that, that's how specific you can be in LA, but here in Victoria, I need to be able to shoot drinks and food and maybe like the table setting and hell, why not the furniture too? So I'm not only, I'm not just shooting, I'm not like advertising myself as a portrait photographer and as a wedding photographer and as a real estate photographer, but I am gonna be a still life advertising type of photographer. You know, you got, your umbrella's gotta be a little bit bigger if your market's a little bit smaller. And you might have a different opinion. Please let me know what your opinion is down in the comments if you're faced with this turmoil of should I niche down or did you niche down and it didn't work well or you have and it's only been beneficial since. Let me know, I'm, I'm actually genuinely curious. I'd love to start a conversation about this. There's quite a few of you guys that are actually watching and, and it would be nice to actively talk about it and, and see what we come up with. So yeah, please let me know down in the comments. Let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, that's been my experience with niching. I thought I was forced to do it and I've done it and I've seen quite a few benefits from it, but there's also a lot of benefit from not niching down and just being a jack of all. And if you're happy with where you are, you can be a very successful photographer, shooting a little bit of everything, making 10 grand from this type of work and 20 grand from this type of work. And you can still make hundred grand a year doing that kind of stuff too. So yeah, anyway, that's, that's the rant. See you in a couple days. Thanks for hanging out. Later.